you know, the best way in life is to tell your own story. You ever want to leave here and somebody else is telling your story? You tell your story, you don't have to work. Warning. I have no filter at times. I talk a lot of real shit and joke. You may get triggered, so you might want to click off this video. Okay, welcome back, YouTube. Here we go again. Another hood days with me, you know. You know, I got these stories for you guys, you know. I say, I'm based on a true story, my story, real life. No filter. It's that way we don't give name peoples and faces. You know what I say? Well, you know, I didn't do it. I get on to this shit, you know. So this story time here is about me and one of my first. Hey, you know what I say? So me and him, you know, we were out and shit, hanging. You know, here we go, right? You know, hanging and shit. And you know, now we, we're at home, really. You know what I say? Because I got my own place, and his mother, you know, they live around the corner. You know, we live back in town. I was thinking. And actually, this was the first apartment I ever had. So this is sort of like way back in like 99 to 1000 and shit like that. At my first place, like in 98. So, you know what I say? Like that part. You know what I say? So, anyways, well. <laughs> Over my cousin's house, like I always do. You know what I'm saying? My one other cousin, which I got another story time about him. But, anyways, it wasn't there. So I'm shit kicking it with my older cousin and shit. You know, they've been in in that area of those townhouses since he was a baby. So he was like, you know, the, the king of the hood and shit. You know, everybody knew him. And but they had a problem. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker like to get drunk. All the motherfucking time. All the players was getting his ass whipped and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the crazy part about it, the motherfucker had a high ass IQ and shit. You know what I'm saying? Very fucking smart. Got double promoted at least twice. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, back to the hood shit, right? You know what I'm saying? So now me and him decide we go to the store, go grab some shit up. I probably grabbed me a juice up. He probably grabbed him some beers up. I didn't grab me some wraps up. He done grabbed him some cigarettes up. You know what I said? All that shit you need when you're about to chill and shit. So now we go back and we on what we, we call the strip of, of that hood, right? You know what I say? So we decide to go down the strip and shit and where everybody was at and shit like that. But this particular day, why nobody out really, you know what I'm saying? So we just bagged up and shit, you know what I'm saying? We were talking and shit, you know what I'm saying? Talking and shit, we're rolling, we're talking and shit like that, you know, we bop, 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 shit like that, right? And all of a sudden, shit, here we go. <laughs> I'm the police. And they decide to just pull up in front of the fucking car. Now, was we doing anything wrong? No. We were simply sitting in the car, minding our own goddamn business. One outside the car was making no hoop and holler. The music wasn't even blasting. We was in mid conversation, unpiling some business shit, or just whatever the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm kidding. And this particular time, I just had got on motherfucking probation from my first day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that, that video out. Okay, you know what I say? So anyway. Bitches fresh and nervous. You know what I'm saying? Because I got two ounces of motherfucking fresh eyes weed that I just got up. And it's on me. And you know what I say? I say, oh, I'm lying. 
this is going to go down smooth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and mind you, you know what I'm saying? I, my parents didn't even know about it. You know, I really never went into the whole story about how I got sentenced, sentenced, and the leading up to the sentence. And I'll get back to that. But anyway, back to this story, me and my cousin. So now the police, they come up for us. I'm the driver. I'm always the driver in these situations. Nobody never really had a car back then except for me. So I'm always the fucking driver at this point. You know, I say, you're going to see me. Okay, so. Ask me for my license and my registration. I give it to you. Now, I do know that I had that one case. with fresh. You know what I'm saying? So none of that shit came up. I was clear. But I got to my cousin information. They already knew him. They done had shit of over a million fucking run-ins with him. You know what I say? So they already knew him and shit, you know. And they pretty much knew he was, you know, a working alcoholic and shit. But you know what I say? So Cousin knew that I was already had a case pending. He knew I had to lead on. But they asked us what we were doing out there. And we said, we were just sitting here. To him. And he said, oh, well, I smell weed. And then so my cousin said, oh, officer, it's me. I was just smoking. She wasn't smoking nothing. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> I said, ha. as my cousin, he was like, I ain't going to let you, you know what I said. Okay, okay, now if this work ain't work, you know what I said. I will use it well for us. I'm like, you know. And then so the officer said, okay. Well, can you step out the car, you know, I told him what his name was. And she did, like I said, they already know him. So they, you know, calling him by first name and joking and shit. And, you know, da 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 you got it. You go check out that one you had last time and all this shit, you know. I said, so I'm like, okay, you know, and I'm thinking like I'm cool with it, right? You know, I said. And then the police second call for me. Oh, I'm going in here, officer. You know, I said, shit, I'll let you know. Can you stop out the car? Okay, okay, Mrs. Officer, Mrs. Officer. You know, I say, please don't put them handcuffs on me. <laughs> so in this particular day, you know, a moment and shit, you know, I say, I'm nervous as fuck and shit. You know, so it wasn't, uh, it had to have been like towards the end of the summer, closer to the fall. So it started to get a little nippy outside where you might have a little hoodie on or, you know, a, a thumb. In. But what happened was I had these overalls on and I had like um, some kind of biker shorts or something underneath it. I don't know what was going on, but I had something underneath them, right, you know. And then I had that, that on, you see. And... So when they already had to come out the car and let me in the car, what I the two ounces I had, I heard oh, right. I say I put them in the vodka shot. <laughs> you know, like shit, you know, I said like okay, you know. So the lady she got me out the car. She's searching me like right? she patting me down and shit. Right? Right? But she grabbed between my thighs and shit. I heard the sound of the plastic light. Right? And I could smell the weed just come up through my shirt and shit. I was like, oh, my, my, my. you know what I said? Like, this is it. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy you, Elizabeth. You know what I said? Like, I'm like, and she did that. And then she went back up again. Then she went back down one last time and shit. And then she sent me back in the fucking car and shit. And then so 
They let my cousin back out of the car and shit. And I'm looking at them like, you know what I say? Like, nigga. One is, what the fuck? You know what I say? Like, this bitch playing with me like this. So the man come back and shit with all the IDs and shit in here telling us, well, you know, I, we don't care what y'all do in your houses. Just don't be out here and sitting in the cars doing it. And I said, I said okay. And as usual, you know what I said? Shit, this time I was driving, so I thanked to my cousin and shit. Nigga, where the fuck you going? Cause I'm about to I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? My times and shit. And that was that, you know what I'm saying? That's another motherfucking bullet in the house, man. Ooh. You know, maybe it's just cause I'm a little small or something, so when they be, you know, they be thicking me up and shit, you know? <laughs> They be thinking that little thick, thick in the house. Oh, yes. I got to go. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe and shit. And y'all need to hit that motherfucking like bell or something. You know what I said? Like, hit that like. Hit that like and shit, you know. Peace out.